Hey guys, and welcome back to Found Bits, the series where we take a look at content that was previously unused or unseen that has since been added back into the game. So after years of anticipation and several delays, the Cuphead Delicious Last Course DLC is finally out. Now while I'm still digging into the latest update for unused content, I just wanted to make a quick video talking about a few things that have been implemented in this DLC update that used to be unused in the past. So with that said, parry that like button, let's check out some stuff that was re-added into the game. So for starters, back in my original Lost Bits video, I went over several weapon types and charms that went unused but still had some early placeholder remnants for them kicking around in the files. Now, although almost all of these, like this arc shot, still never made the cut, there are still a few things that did end up getting at least somewhat re-implemented. Probably the best example is one weapon type that did end up getting implemented, and that's the triple laser or wide shot that has now been turned into the converge weapon. The basic blue shots were turned into the lightning bolts, the ability to actually converge the spread was added, but the weapon's piercing properties were still carried over, making it a pretty solid weapon choice, I think. Then it also appears that two charms that were previously unused have been implemented, at least in some form. The first of these is the charm that was simply known as Turret. Although not much is known about exactly how it was supposed to function as a charm back in the original release, based on the name, it's believed that whatever its purpose was, it may have been turned into the Crackshot's EX attack, as the Saturn-type thing you spawn in does act like an independent turret. Then secondly, the previously unused Shield charm appears to perhaps have been reworked into Miss Chalice's Shield Pal super art. The effects are a bit different though, as the original shield charm would simply protect from fall damage from pits or hazards and offered extended invincibility time after, whereas Miss Chalice's shield pal appears to just provide an extra hit that you can take without actually taking damage. Now next, probably the most interesting unused things that were re-implemented are some of the old unused bosses. For starters, although it appears that the style was reworked a bit, you can definitely tell that this fella was reworked from this guy that was known as the Flying Gentleman. The teeth, the tongue, the red nose are all extremely similar and not to mention they're both spiders. I guess the biggest difference being that instead of having six legs, this design has two arms distinct from the other four legs. Although seemingly reduced to just a phase within this fight, still really cool to see one of the most iconic, I think, unused Cuphead bosses get added back in. And speaking of this boss fight, this is actually the re-implementation of one of my favorite unused boss fights from the original release named simply as Light. Although definitely spiced up with more phases and such, it's absolutely clear that this old unused boss fight was reworked into this phase here. Honestly, I was blown away by this when I first played this fight. So cool to see this added back into the game. And lastly, although the similarities aren't as obvious or concrete, it could be argued that the fight against the knight in the King's Leap area was a rework of this old fight that was scrapped from the game against Jelly the Octopus. They're mostly similar in the fact that they can't be damaged using conventional attacks and must be parried on the top instead. A stretch? Maybe, but I think there might be a connection here. And unfortunately, that's about it for stuff that was added back into this game that used to be unused. Although there are so many other unused things that I'm kinda disappointed weren't added in such as the whole coin-op bop arcade section and patchy patchy and a few of the other bosses, this DLC has been great and I'm incredibly happy with it. And like I said earlier, I'll still be diving into this game to see if there are any other cool unused goodies to talk about. I haven't really found too much yet, but if there are, stay tuned for that, and if you're not already, subscribe to find your way back for it when it's up. Anyways, thank you all so much for tuning in today, and I will see you in a bit.